Good morning, Brother Rice. This is Jim Pufant and Nate Lamantia. Welcome to our Brother Rice Standard Newscast. When you think of Brother Rice, you think football and basketball. But how do all these athletes stay in shape during the offseason? Well, Nate, they join one of Brother Rice's best sports. Oh, so you mean like wrestling or baseball? No, I mean track and field. But isn't track kind of like just running around in circles? That's a misconception. Track and field has events for all types of athletes, ranging from sprinting to distance running and from shot put to long jump. Oh, I didn't realize all the opportunities in track and field. We were lucky enough to catch up with Coach Wazio about all the ways different athletes can participate in track. Yeah, well, I think uh, as most people that know me, I am uh, a very huge believer in multi-sport athletes. I think the ability to compete in one, more than one sport to not just specialize in one has huge, huge advantages, not only for the development of the athlete, but also for their uh, chances of getting a, acquiring a college scholarship in whatever sport it may be. Uh, I looked at you know the number one football uh, players in the NFL, the top basketball, but they all seem to have a track background. And you know you could do this, look at the, the statistics on that, and I think it's like 83% of all uh, NFL players were at track in high school. And the reason for that is because track is a sport for athletes. So whether you're a thrower, uh, you know, a strong lineman, a speed guy, you know, a spitter, hurler, jumper, a hurler, a jumper, whatever it may be, there is a, an event track for you. And that athletic system translates, could be on the soccer field, to the basketball court, on the volleyball court, uh, especially the football field. So whatever it is, there is an event track that is just, it's all, it's athleticism. And that will transfer across any sport that you're talking about. So in a sense, it's a sport for everybody? It's a sport for everybody. All right, I would love if we could have, uh, I mean, we have, I don't know, 750 or so students in the school. I want 750 kids on the track team. So how long does the track season last? Is it, you know, about a month or two? Track actually begins in January and goes all the way to the end of the school year and consists of indoor and outdoor seasons. Well, Jim, you've told me a lot about the track and field, you know, the sport in general, but what about Brother Rice's track and field program? Well, last year, the Frosh Soft team won both the indoor and outdoor Catholic League championship, which is a huge confidence booster for this year's team. With most of last year's sophomores returning, Coach Wazio and the rest of the coaching staff have high expectations for this season. Wow, I, I didn't know our track program was that good, but are they good enough to win the Catholic League again? Of course, the ultimate team goal is always to win the Catholic League, but it doesn't come easy. Let's see what Mr. Wazio has to say. Well, uh, coming off of this past cross-country season, which I thought was, uh, I said, very exciting, very fun, a good building season. Track, I'm really looking forward. We've won, uh, we won the Catholic League title for the Frost Off last year, indoor and outdoor. So now with that class being juniors this year, I'm looking for uh, us to make a run at the varsity title, indoor and outdoor. And that's always the main goal, is to win, bring home a Catholic League title. And then second, there is to qualify as many people as we can for the state meet and bring home as many state medals as possible. Recently, the cross country and track programs were said to say goodbye to coach Don Melinda. Although he is still teaching, he's no longer coaching at Brother Rice. After being head coach for 25 years and assistant coach for another nine, he decided to step down from the cross country program. You know, coach Melinda, he, he's always been, you know, one of the most interesting guys I've ever met, you know, He's always been a great teacher, you know, he's mm -hmm. taught me chemistry and that, I mean, but you know, I mean, a lot of guys, you know, know him a little better, you know, from going on Kairos and stuff like that, but I don't know if you have or what you I mean, I've never, take. I've never had him as a teacher or a coach, um, but I, I have heard from several of my fellow peers that they really enjoyed him as a teacher and they think he's a really great guy, so I know he will be missed on that team. Yes, he will. Thanks for watching our Brother Eyes newscast. Make sure to subscribe to our Brother Rice Chicago channel.